the day is May 20th, 2022 at 10.14 a.m. So quick thought here, and let me see if I can remember it. I don't know if I can, but we'll try. We'll try, you and I. Um, but right now, from my understanding, Google, Facebook, all these different companies are recording I think us 24 seven from our phones, uh, especially if you have a Amazon dot or whatever. And, uh, I don't think that's a conspiracy theory or anything to say. I think that's probably true. Uh, and even if they are not recording everything or everything, maybe they're deleting it or whatever, they're still keeping at least some sort of record and they're keeping some sort of algorithmic, uh, like analysis of it. So the point here is that um, essentially since they're doing this, since they're doing this, um, they can probably, oh, oh, that, they, they, okay, so let's just step back one second. They're recording our conversations or recording uh, what we're saying, um, but they're also uh, keeping extremely accurate locational data of everybody, you know, to within like a plus or minus a few meters, kind of exactly where you are, what time you're there, all that stuff. Um, that combined with, with, uh, I guess security camera footage and all that other stuff. Um, I, I'd say that the current mega tech corporations have enough information at their fingertips to essentially ensure that all criminal activity um, is completely monitored or, or could be kind of like very close to be completely monitored. Probably, probably, I think. If, if you took all of this information, you could probably make it basically, uh, you could, well, I don't know. I feel, I feel like, uh, well, you could track where everyone is. You can know what they say. You can know where they were. Um, you could see where they were given security cameras and stuff. And uh, you could probably, you could probably, basically, no, like, like see all crimes that are happening for the most part. And I guess this this also would would apply to thought crimes. You know, like, like if. If Facebook and Google wanted to, they could probably dox literally every single right winger in the United States and the world, say this is who they are, and send maybe like automated emails to their to their jobs and stuff or, or something like that. I don't know, um, but I don't that 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 that's not that probably would not happen because that would cause a huge amount of. Uh, I don't know. That would, that would be a huge spark, and uh, I don't think they'd want that. But the point is, the point is, oh shoot, what's the point? Oh man, I'm forgetting the point. Oh no, the point is, um, they're probably not going to use this information now, but in the future, you might have an ultra authoritarian uh, government that, that that emerges. Um, well, actually, so let's let's step back one second. Why aren't they doing it now? Number one, it could cause a huge amount of political um, or economic or what some sort of other uh, instability or might spark a war or some major conflict if you if you suddenly start doing this. Who knows? That that could be one reason, but I think that's a lesser reason. I think the, the biggest reason is that the powers that be right now just don't have enough supplies to kind of police everyone that they need to police and, and cover all of this stuff. Um, so they have all the information they need most likely, but actually acting on it is difficult because we rely on still rely on human police officers and such, and our prisons are crowded and whatnot. Um, but let's say in the future, let's say in the future, you have a government that emerges. Oh, no, also, also, let's get that there in a second. But but right now, I think we're in the late stage American empire. And, and when you, I think when you have late stage empires like this, it becomes easier and easier for people to get away with crimes to the point where probably lawlessness begins to 
break out more and the state loses a lot of legitimacy and then, well, things fall apart or they like swing back into being extremely authoritarian and then things just get worse and worse. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know statecraft and all that stuff, but like something like that seems to be reasonable. But anyway, point is right now we have a very weak state, but imagine you have an extremely strong authoritarian state that emerges in the future, like a potential future, which probably will happen at some point in human history is where everyone has these, and, and give, given that phones don't like give us cancer and they don't get like outlawed or something like that. Like if, if phones and, 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 and mobile technology is something that, that, that still exists like hundreds or thousands of years into the future, um, it seems to me to be reasonable that, that a, a state will emerge that uh, essentially collects a huge amount of data on everybody runs it through a kind of an AI learning algorithm um, or, or code that kind of knows human behavior and can predict stuff um, and either and, and combine that with like a bunch of different other data like 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 constant surveillance everywhere um, and other stuff and essentially probably crack down on every single criminal uh, that exists out there, both thought crimes, um, I guess actual crimes and, and other things to the point where it's going to be impossible to do anything that you really want. And also I, I feel like you, you could, you could literally like start, start prosecuting people for thought crimes. Cause maybe you're, you could have like, a, uh, like different sensors, different like audio visual things that, that indicate kind of what you're thinking subconscious or like in your head not just what you say out loud. Like you can maybe have like some some weird slight facial facial movement and some some weird inflection or or something else that a that a video picks up and realizes, oh shoot, he's thinking something racist or he's thinking something like this or that or blah blah blah. And then it, it and then it prosecutes that you for that or something like that. Um I think that could definitely probably happen. Um but I think that the only way that this could happen, I don't think I don't think human police officers could could kind of like do all this. I think you would need to have like a robotic automated police force of sorts that that automatically kind of detects a crime or something and then would like automatically detain you and then automatically put you in prison or or maybe maybe it would get even darker or worse. Maybe um people realize that prison is a pretty horrible way to to deal with criminals which it is prison is stupid um and by the way most laws that exist shouldn't exist like uh like and, and there should only be two punishments i think there should be one punishment which is death like if you murder or rape somebody or like abuse like children or i don't know who knows stuff like that like you should get the death penalty 100 percent um and then maybe even adulterers, maybe even adulterers should do that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Know. I feel like feel like. I mean, I think that's biblically accurate. Adulterers deserve the death penalty. Um. But then I think, I mean, I think that's that's the one just thing. And then the other just thing is like, let's say you steal something. Like, from my understanding of of the biblical law, is so you have to pay it back like maybe three times the amount or something like that. And if you can't, then you have to like be an indentured servant for them or something like that. Like um, essentially to pay it off through your labor. Um, And I think those are very just punishments. So um, I don't know if, Oh, you rob a bank, you should go to jail for the rest of your life. No. I mean, I think in Jewish law, um, your debts are paid every seven years or something like that. So, I mean, you can be a slave for seven years and then you're gone. I th- I mean, I feel like that's an extremely reasonable and extremely like just way of doing it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, anyway, anyway, anyway. So you either, you either pay it off, kind of eye for an eye kind of payment, um, or you pay with your life for the more serious crimes. 
And, and that, that seems to me the only scalable fractal kind of justice system that works, you know, because if you have a justice system, it needs to work like on the lowest possible level. Like if you have three people on a desert island and it needs to work on the highest possible level, like if you have like trillions of people in an interstellar um, kind of galactic empire, you need to have a justice system that works in all cases and a, and a maximum security federal penitentiary prison system does not work on a island with three people um but but this system that i just described does so um the point here is let's say that that you have a kind of a a, a roman style um like a dictatorship that that still has a prison system or or maybe even even scarier if they start just applying the death penalty to more uh, to less serious crimes um I mean, it seems to me that it's reasonable to say that in the future you'd have like this this automated death squad of of robots that 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 will take like the data that's that's going out there. It's going through like the major computer brain and is just automatically either arresting people or or shooting people for for their crimes or something like that. Um I don't know. I, I think that that's that's a reasonable thing that, that could happen in humanity's future, at least somewhere at some point at some time. Um, I would also say that if that does happen and if it's widespread, the results in, on human language and consciousness and, and behavior would probably be very interesting. You'd probably have people beginning to, I guess, maybe speak in ways that are... Um, like extremely deceptive to AIs or something like that, or uh, or I don't know, maybe speaking like euphemis, like extreme euphemisms and metaphors, and like uh, maybe they use like other forms of, of of speaking, like maybe sign language, or maybe like a synthesis of all of them. Like you say one word vocally you say one word in sign language and then you say one word in like some other thing i don't know there's probably there's probably a bunch of different ways that humanity can adapt to such a such a state um but it's it, i don't know how 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 much that would really work um but yeah i mean then i guess i'm just describing 1984 i'm just describing 1984 but like I, I I don't think 1984 really kind of described the the, the fullness of it because it's not just oh it's just a uh, it's just a there's a TV in your house and someone's paying attention. It's like George Orwell didn't know about like artificial intelligence and uh, and advanced learning algorithms and um, stuff like that and like I, I don't think he also really explored the limits of 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 of, of how far the state can reach because the state can't really um well i mean i mean you could do like a genocide or something like that like like russia um or the ussr did right um but i feel like that's a very simplified justice system like you need to have, like in order for for a state to become corrupt you need a simplified justice system like oh you did something wrong we'll kill you or we'll send you to the gulag or whatever um if you have like a an american justice system where oh we're gonna put you into jail for da 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 that can get like bloated and overwhelmed like extremely easily. Um, so the point there is that 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 human tyranny can only well has its limits and has its forms. Like human tyranny now in the United States is not a long term thing and wouldn't really work for much won't really work for much longer because people will start realizing that oh I can get away with stuff because the there's a lot, tons of people in prison and it's very bloated and they can't arrest everybody for all this stuff. And eventually like things will probably change or whatever. Um, so that's, that's step one. But like if, if the United States just started like killing people for like, Oh yeah, you did drugs, we'll kill you. And you, if you're a racist or whatever or thought crime, you kill you. If you rob a bank, we'll kill you. Um, th then, then, then you'd, the justice system would be a lot more efficient, but it would be like evil. Um, and it would probably also fall apart because, well, evil empires, like really evil empires, like the USSR, like, uh, I don't think they last 
very long, or I hope they don't. Um, but that's that's the limit of human statecraft. We ha- I don't think we've really realized what the limits of like machine augmented statecraft is because we barely kind of have that. Um, but if, if you can come up with a robo cop, cyber cop that can automatically arrest people or automatically kill somebody or something else or trank a lot, who knows? You could get something uh, scary or interesting. Anyway, I think I've made my point. Does that make sense? Uh, anyway, next up, how do we build these things? So I believe in a previous podcast I talked about machine augmented animals or maybe i haven't who knows but the, from from my understanding the u.s military is using is considering moving away from just like kind of like the oh we're gonna have like we need to have all these cars and da 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 and i think they're going to like oh you know what? we need like bikes and mules to carry around stuff instead of like robot walking dogs But my point here is maybe um, the solution for, like, robotics in the future isn't like, oh, we need to have the the Boston Dynamics walking robot dog because those are loud and clunky and expensive and energy intensive and blah, blah, blah. What if we just used, uh, like, mules or, like, horses or, like, other animals and we, like, robotically modified them to, like, Maybe putting like a chip in their brain so we could control their movement, or putting a robot arm on their back so that they uh, uh, can like be basically semi-controllable robots. Or I, I don't know. But my thought could be like this: you could have potentially like a mule or something like that with like a brain chip, where you can control its movements like completely. Like, as well as you could control maybe, like, a Boston Dynamics robot thing. And you have maybe, like, a, uh, let's say, a, a robot arm or some sort of, like, robot kind of, like, a, like backpack on the mule. And you probably have, like, a like a tranquilizer dart or, like, some sort of, like, a, uh, what are they called? A, a taser thing. And, um... Maybe what what would happen is you have this mule or dog or some other thing. Yeah, you probably have like a dog. You probably have the dog like run the house of the person that committed the thought crime that the artificial intelligence automatically detected. And then it the dog has like a uh, has a brain chip that controls where it goes, and it also has a uh, uh, like a like a tranquilizer dart, and it like uh, like it tranquilizes or tases the person, and and then like maybe it has like some other type of thing that like automatically puts a restraint on the person now the person is restrained and whatnot and then you have like the workhorse um mule bot that like picks the guy up and puts it on on its back or something like that and then like that 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 cyborg animal uh walks him over to maybe like a uh to like the ma- the big van or something like that and then uh and then then he's shipped out for like processing or something like that and then maybe like inside the van you have like a like like he's just shoved in there right and then you could like maybe turn it into like a like an automated like assembly line factory system so you have like a just a big van that's full of all these prisoners and uh, then maybe like a garbage truck, like the top opens up and like a robot arm goes down and grabs everybody and then like plops them onto a, uh, a conveyor belt. Or maybe 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 the, the, the truck could just like tilt itself over and then just like start putting people on a conveyor belt. And then like it scans your face and whatnot. And maybe like on this conveyor belt line, it uh, it like uh, it shoves you into like different categories like oh you're a prisoner or you're this or you're that and then uh and then you're like automatically like put through 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 different things like oh you're automatically either like dropped into a cell or maybe questioned or da 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 while on this conveyor belt and then and then you're then you're done or something like that i don't know uh and then then you could and then then while everyone is in this autumn auto prison like you'd have like a uh 
some sort of like 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 a like dumb wheel robot thing that that has like uh, some gruel or something like that where it like goes by your prison system right your 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 prison cell like, is this making sense like trying just try and visualize everything i'm saying um <clears throat> is you got like this robot with wheels on it with a big pot of gruel with like a hose nozzle that like spews it into the like the prisoner's room where like a bull should be and then and then just goes to the next one or the next one or the next one and like everything that the prisoner needs is in the is in the uh the prison thing i don't know and uh and maybe the prisoners are just kept there or something and then uh and then yeah uh gosh imagine that it's probably gonna happen maybe it could happen it's very it seems like it could i don't know depends on how much compassion humans have because humans oftentimes i think really have harbor a lot of hatred towards each other and and can uh really really lose their humanity if 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 we start if we start merging more with with ai and uh, the virtual simulation, which these fucking asshole tech fucks want to do. Um, well, then we lose our humanity, and then they'll probably start doing shit like this. Let, let me, let me, let me, let's go into that a little bit. Let's go into that a little bit. Crinkles. talking about oh yeah yeah goose uh, fuck no shut up bitch tech billionaires from and this is all coming from probably one snippet of one conversation i've had with my roommate a year ago but he said that that um what he learned about uh tech billionaire oh yeah these the 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 fucking idiots who were in silicon valley their their reasoning behind meta is they were like oh um uh, most people have very sad lives, and their the reality of their life is very sad and disappointing. So we need to um create meta so that we can brighten their lives and create something better for them to enjoy. And it's like, you, if you really look in like into what they're saying there, like it's fucking disturbing. It's like oh, like your 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 material conditions in 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 the real world are are miserable. So in order to 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 make the make that better, we need to create an artificial world, like an artificial place where kind of Facebook is the new god, and and by creating this new world, new simulated world, um, we can make it a utopia, and make people who are like depressed because of their material conditions and because of their state and reality. Um, we're gonna make them. Uh, we're gonna make them happy because now we're in control. We're in control of reality. I'm in control of reality, and that's why everything will be better. Oh yeah, it's like fucking these these fucking psychopaths, these fucking nerds in Silicon Valley who are f- f- anyway. Like that's like the most demented shit you could come up with like oh uh, instead of uh, making uh, kind of improvements in, in where we are let's just uh, become god ourselves um in this like it's like oh yeah we're gonna create a simulation like that's what they're it's fucking annoying it's like i don't know i don't know and like these people have the power to kind of like, it's like this is this is this is the issue with modern like neoliberal America. It's very um, everything every problem that we have we put a band aid on it. We put a band aid on problems instead of like solving the actual root. And and we're we're, we're just like society is like is like okay with that. Like oh you know what um um. We have uh, we need uh, mi- uh, we have income inequality, so we need minimum wage. We just need a oh we have income inequality. Let's just tax the rich more. Oh, that's that's the good idea. That's the right move. Let's tax the rich. That's how we solve the problem. It's like you fucking idiot. This is a band aid on a 
fucking more serious problem than that. It's not a... Like, it's a symptom of a fucking collapsing empire. It's not a fucking, oh, we just need to tax them more. We just need the government to do more things. Like, fucking, you fucking idiot. The reason why this shit is happening is because the government is doing more things, you fuck. It's like, you need to increase the ability of people to create. And you know how you do that? By making it easier for people to start fucking businesses. It's, it's making it easier for people to own fucking land and the means of fucking production. It's not by taxing you fucking rich people more, you fucking idiot. Oh, we just need to we just need to tax rich people more and give people um, a, a better uh, minimum wage. Yeah, you know what's going to happen then? Rich people are going to get fucking out of it because they have uh, accountants, they have fucking accountants that'll help them save their money. And then now you're like the like people who are like just maybe lower upper class who should be having more money so that they can like invest in like businesses and stuff. They're going to have less fucking money. In the ultra billionaires, they're going to keep having money and they're going to keep increasing the amount of money that they have. That's going to happen. And then you, you're fucking, oh, my, my $15 minimum wage, uh, you know you know what's going to happen with that? That's going to get devalued because uh, the Fed is, is, is printing more money and is literally stealing from all of America through inflation by, oh, we're going to print more money right now so that, in, so that we'll, uh, we'll devalue the the Fed prints money, it devalues the dollar, that means the amount of money that you save is now worth less, and that means that the amount of money you're making is now worth less too, which means that they're taxing you in another way without telling you that you're being taxed, you fucking idiot. So, listen, instead of putting a fucking band-aid on the problem, how about we fucking solve the actual issues? If we actually make something real, instead of just saying, oh, we'll just create a simulation. That's what the fucking Fed is. That's what the fucking monetary system is. It's, oh, I'm going to simulate a, a, a big, better economy um, by, by doing it, by, by, by simulating money right now and, and then just stealing it from the future and then robbing literally everybody. Like, like that's what's going on right now. Like, this is the fucking mindset of the people who, 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 who control society. It's, oh, we'll just, uh, we'll just hide it under, under our rug and worry about it later. Um, we'll just, um, I'll just uh, build a oil refinery right now instead of investing in nuclear so that uh, I don't need to worry about society in the future. I could just get some money now and then, um, and then worry about everything later. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, worry worry about the future of society later. I'm just going to do stuff stuff right now. I'm going to build. Um, I'm going to make plastic water bottles and plastic uh, plastic shopping bags because it's, they're easy to produce right now. But you know what? F- fuck the future. Who cares? Um, no, fuck uh, fuck microplastics and and all these other um, potentially disastrous um, environmental and health hazards. You know what? You know the only thing that matters right now is the uh, the the fleeting uh, 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 reality of the. Well, the fleeting, fleeting simulation of the present. That's that's all that matters right now for me, um, honestly. Like, the present doesn't fucking matter. You know what fucking matters? Creating, creating things for the future. Creating a stable, uh, a, a step that humanity can step up to. You know, not a oh oh let's uh, let's let's build something really quick right now and and then see what happens. Like, like. <clears throat> Jeff Bezos said something very interesting in a talk. I don't know when it was, but it was a few years ago. It was um, the purpose of his Blue Origin. I think that's the name of his thing. Isn't to, isn't to kind of uh, create like a huge, oh, like a huge stride in whatever <clears throat> in space flight. It's to create a very stable platform that humanity can like work off of for like the next step and um maybe his the way he's actually engineering it isn't the best but the the principle is sound his his idea is instead of like trying to kind of do everything at once we should 
create a stable infrastructure that humanity can can work off of for the next step in in human engineering and human government and all this other stuff and that's what really matters what matters is building fucking institutions not like stepping from the next cash grab to the next cash grab like a fucking coke addict um so, so Jeff Bezos is, I'd, I'd say he's pretty aware about like, I, I, like a lot of people give him crap, but he is, I think, I think he has, he's, he's, he's right on a, a, several things, um, on many other things he's not right on. And I think that he receives probably a lot of hate for not really great reasons. I feel like, I feel like if, if you're going to, if you're going to criticize Jeff Bezos, you got to do so in in the right places and i feel like just giving blanket criticism to any one individual is really um kind of stupid um but i mean yeah anyway anyway (laughs) it's kind of ironic given that rant that i had but uh um anyway (laughs) <laughs> just uh take 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 that rant for what it does give give or take whatever 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 you want from that but um i don't know i feel like it's right who knows i don't claim to be right on everything i don't think i'm probably probably there's probably a lot of things that i'm missing out on probably a lot of things that i could be more accurate about um so please uh just take note of that um I'm just trying to give you some thoughts and ideas that I have right now. It doesn't mean that I won't change them or, or reconsider them. Um, but but this is just, I don't know, these are just observations that I have at the current day, in the current moment, the current year, 2016. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm open-minded to the different stuff. And maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong about a lot of this stuff, especially like engineering. Like who knows? Maybe plastics are just fine. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm uh, getting hysterical about nothing, you know. But um who knows? Just uh take take these words for what they are. The ramblings of a pseudo schizo by the way um the comedy i don't really consider it comedy i'd consider it more of a uh a an interesting art musical piece something like that um the 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 the, the musical movie bit thing inside by bo burnham is a uh, it's underrated and, and very uh very very skillfully done I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that. But uh but it was a, it was good. It was good. I I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. And, you, and if you disagree with me, then you're uh you're racist. Yeah, what do you think about that? Fucking white people, white crackers. White crackers will kill all the white people. I'm joking. Don't kill all the white people. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. Uh, things some good comedy I'm, I'm listening to uh i'm listening to my podcast and this is uh this is really good this is actually i thought that this i thought that this podcast would not be good but it's actually being uh doing a lot better than i thought it would be I don't know. I think this. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a this is a decent format. I think I need a, but I do think that the audio needs to be a little better. Okay, actually, this is weird. Hold on, I'm I'm confused right now. I'm very confused. I I was li- I was listening to the podcast, and now I'm the one saying the podcast. So my brain is a little fried because it's what the heck? Is it what? <laughs> Uh, shoot. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, now this...
um, this is a very weird experience because I was just, I was just listening to myself speak as if I was another person and now I am listening to myself speaking right now in a podcast, but I'm myself in the present. So it's, this is a little, uh, what the heck, this is trippy, I don't know. I would, and plus, I'm 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 pretty hopped up on caffeine right now, so I'm, uh, what the heck, this is weird. Whoa, I would, I would highly recommend you guys try this. This is how you get high the Goose Knob way. Uh, May 20th, 2022, at 11.02 a.m., Right now, I'm sitting in a uh, in a yassified, quirky, um, gray. Uh, uh, sleeping. How do you say them? Sleeping trousers. What are they called? Um, pajama. Pajamas. Uh, hobbled together pajamas. Sitting on my bed with a pillow under my um, elbows. And it's way too hot here. It's way too hot. I don't know. I'm used to the coldness of Colorado. <laughs> because the external cooling allows for me to spend more of my energy on uh, brain power instead of on uh, cooling down my systems. Which is why I like the winter. The winter is the best for, for thought. But the summer is the worst for thought because... Uh, your your brain is spending not as much time on uh this is why i think computers and humans work similarly in that um <clears throat> as a computer starts ramping up it gets hotter and uh it, as it gets hotter it needs more um cooling to ensure that it continues to function um but the difference is that humans require a lot of energy for both so uh, uh anyway you f- figure out the rest fill in the blanks for that analogy or something like that i don't know i'm i don't want to i don't want to c- continue doing that what were we talking about again i'm a yassified girl boss gay icon queen sis and that's the p what we really need is a is a cheap and effective um, body cooling system that uh, you strap onto your body and then it, it it cools you down to like a very uh, a very cold temperature so that you can think better and work out better. That'd be cool. I should make that. I should design that. You should. Uh, if you listen to this part, let me know if you want to go on an engineering team that designs a uh, a cooling bodysuit, a commercial cooling bodysuit. We could uh, we could use um, principles of refrigeration and some sort of like refrigeration cycle, like a I don't know the Carnot heat engine, something like that. Anyway, one of those, and then uh, and come up with a simplified and miniaturized version of it. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. You and me. You and me, buddy. We got this. We got this. I love you. I love you. I love you. Dang. For that last segment, I was uh I was thinking it would be extremely funny if I just like burst into singing like a very romantic Italian song, like an extremely romantic Italian song where it's like I don't know. I wish I knew some Italian because it would be like funny. It would be like Ordabellici da Rollo, Horabadillo, Spaghetti Mussolini, Meatball da And it would be like, like you'd imagine like, like I'm talking with you. <clears throat> I'm like sitting with you on like a gondola, right? And I'm like talking with you about like all my ideas. And then like, and then we like lean in closer and we look into our, each other's eyes. And then, like, the gondola man is, like, singing an Italian song. And then it's, like, it's, like, moonlit. And you see, like, the, we see the sparkle in each other's eyes. And then we lean in. And uh, we get closer together. And then, like, I put my hand on your hand. 
and we lean in, and then, uh, <coughs> Friday, May 20th, 2022, Hegelian cum dynamics. <laughs> Sexy ass white boy with the swag and the giant timb boots that go from the heel of his foot all the way up to his knee. Timb boots that are four feet long that are around 50 pounds. Um, <laughs> timb boots with an internal radius of around two feet. Um with the specialized grappling hooks at the bottom to keep your feet in. Um, uh, one giant timb boot that has two smaller robotic timb boots at the bottom that allows you to walk around with them. <clears throat> I really want to stop cussing. I need to stop cussing. And uh, getting uh, overly righteous self-righteous about this type of stuff i don't know i'm just passionate i guess but i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i think there's something primal and guttural about uh about about cussing it gives punctuates the importance of things and also reduces pain but still probably not a good thing should probably be reduced but i don't know i don't know i like uh I, li- I like cussing a lot but it's like it's like salt if you add too much salt to something it'll it'll ruin ruin what you're eating i guess you got to use it in moderation maybe or maybe not maybe you don't use it in moderation maybe you don't use it at all but i don't know that's I don't I think that's this kind of boring. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Who knows? I don't know.